of year. 30 is the average low. So while it is chilly when we share 30s, of course, that cloud cover acts like more of a, a blanket. So we'll call it chilly, not seasonable cold for this time of year at least. So 37 to start your sunrise at 746. All the schools back in session now officially today with Knox County joining the mix. So obviously expect things to be pretty busy out, but at least it's quieter on the weather side. In fact, we'll keep working on pulling back this cloud cover. Notice more sun already on the plateau by one. That cloud cover band kind of lifting back out. Layers of clouds kind of more scattered in the afternoon. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny is the transition we make. Actually, you're looking nice and clear for your evening hours, but just a heads up, we do have some clouds that'll pass back by tonight, and that's why another stray couple of flurries are possible going into the overnight hours, but that'll head on out too. We've actually got some warmer air headed our way after today. So think of this as everything just kind of settling down behind all that rain behind the weekend cold front. So next step is clearing from 37 this morning to 42 at noon. High today 45, so just little tiny bumps up in temperature because of that cloud cover lingering more clearing. Then temperatures can drop a bit more tonight. So in that forecast where you live, looking to get some fresh air after you're picking the kids up from school today, high will be 45 in Knoxville to 47, Madisonville and 46 in Loudoun to Kingston. Forecast where you live, high today 44 Crossville to 43 in Oneida. Looking to top out around 45 in Middlesbrough to 42 in Stearns. Forecast where you live today, 42 Rogersville to 45 in Dandridge. Zoomed in here so you can find your county, 41 in Hartford. Now tomorrow morning, those last couple little stray drizzles actually head out early, and then we'll have that patches of fog. So you notice the sky clears faster tomorrow morning, which is good news to have more of a partly cloudy to mostly sunny day for your Tuesday. Yet again, those clouds just want to dip back down. Think of them just kind of spinning around in the region. So we're just kind of catching some clouds on and off, but at least what we're also going to be catching is a warming trend. So tomorrow we can bump up nicely to just above average. All right, 30 degrees in the morning, perfectly normal. Those few clouds moving out early and then we'll have more afternoon sunshine. We'll be at 43 at noon tomorrow. High will be 52 already feeling better, looking better. Those clouds are again in and out for a couple of days, but really don't bring back rain chances until later on Wednesday. Could get a couple of showers by Wednesday evening, mainly into the overnight because of this next front's rain and rumbles of thunder that move in Thursday. So we're going to keep warming each day, even just ahead of this line of rain and storms. The cooler air will be behind it, which is why we've been talking about that changeover to wintry mix to some snow, especially outlining the valley going into Thursday night to Friday. And that'll be when those temperatures come right back down. So in terms of trying to pick a day to get outside, you can see that warming trend here from mid 40s today, low 50s tomorrow, even upper 50s on Wednesday. And then we'll have that line of rain and storms after a high of 62 on Thursday. But then we're stuck in the 30s on Fridays. We have some leftover snow showers again, mostly in our higher elevations.